it seems like you guys were sort of trying to get there, but you could never really find that rhythm to get ahead of them. What did you see out there, especially toward the end of that fourth quarter where they pulled away? Yeah, I think that just the game for us started tough. Um, sort of put us behind the eight ball, uh, turned the ball over a lot. We had been averaging 11 or 12 turnovers. We had 10 in the first in the first half, and I think just that we were sort of playing catch up. And we had a good run in the the third, the breakdown at the end of the quarter, um, and then just the fourth. Um, I mean, I, we're fighting, we're competing, uh, we're we're low on numbers, and I think that's probably the you can kind of see that um, with the shorter rotations and. Um, called my three timeouts and then it's um, games can end like that but we fought we tried to make some adjustments defensively um, to allow to stop them from getting layups but couldn't get it done it seemed like they were sort of scoring a little inside the paint um, you're rotating bigs you know what what are you looking for out of your big men out there because it seemed like you were trying a lot of different things yeah look just I mean that 50 points in the paint um, so that's our guard play too and our bigs working together um, and we just weren't great in that space today, and um, yeah, too many easy baskets. Do you feel like this team is making progress since you took over the, the reins? Um, yeah, look, I, I think we have. Tonight's a disappointing one. Um, yeah, there's seven roster players out there, so versus a full squad, I'm pretty sure. So um, Rasmus has come in as an injury replacement, doing great. Um, we're pl playing a particular way. Baines is um, coming back from not doing much the last month or so, I think that sort of showed tonight. Um, so we've just got to figure out a way to get him up to speed. We've got three big games coming up. Um, we'll see four, four games, 11 days. So um, we want to get a bit of a run going into uh, Christmas. So you guys are on demand, obviously, so I guess more is on you to, to go and produce out there. You know, how have you taken that leadership role as far as kind of taking the extra, kind of what you need to, to lift this team? Um, just trying to be effective and play hard and try and do all the right things to try and help make the game a little bit easier. But, um, yeah, obviously it got tough tonight and we got pushed out of a few things and, um, yeah, it got away from us a little bit. But just trying to do, do as much as I can on the little stuff, talk to the guys that are getting more of an opportunity right now, try and lead them that way as well. Given the sort of volatility around the, the team, coaching change and people you know, not being there, how do you kind of rally the team? How do you bring everyone together when there's, there are so many unknowns out there? Yeah, I mean, I think Sammy's done a great job uh, bringing the boys together, and obviously we've got a tight-knit group. Um, it's just about continually getting um, reps at what we're doing now and, and believing in the direction we're heading in, and um, we'll be right moving forward. Um, after the game against Tasmania, you said that you were going to shortly find out whether your role here would be for the rest of the season you, you would get some clarity do you have clarity yet uh, I've had discussions just waiting for some things to happen so you're not entirely sure if you will be the head coach for the remainder of the season unsure at the minute but I want it okay. uh, well keep it rolling not often we have the GM here but uh, <laughs> in, terms of, in terms of a player you mentioned where you're at four and nine not quite at the halfway mark is there a point just with all the scenarios and the budget and all that sort of stuff where, you, where maybe you don't bring someone in or are you pretty committed to, to getting a player? We're very committed to getting a player, just watch this space. Um, but I think it's, it's the likes of Tanner, like Tanner's missing and he did so well for us. Um, so we just, we have who we have, um, the cards that were dealt and I, as I said, I've, I love the intent. Tonight we fell away a little bit, disappointing I think. Um, um, everyone's really frustrated in the locker room, but um, yeah, as I said, we'll, we'll have some extra players come against Cairns. Um, just with Gak specifically, he's one of the guys the last couple of games that seems to have got more minutes tonight. He plays 24, Harry only plays eight. Is that indicative of anything we might see in terms of mixing and matching and rotating those bigs? Yeah, look, you just I'm trying to find a rotation that works, and I think everyone saw the impact that Gak had tonight, um, and he just goes about his business, and he's starting to adjust to the NBL. Um, Love what he does. Unfortunately, Harry um, got the short end tonight with, with Bainesy being back. Um, but Harry did some great stuff as well. So um, we just, as so, certainly get reps in at training, get some groups that we feel comfortable out there. Um, but Gak's definitely been um, a highlight so far. Uh, I know, you know we spoke, or well, you spoke a lot about the offense, and you sort of had a week here, I guess, but not all the bodies. So 
what are you what are you trying to get out of this? I mean, you score eighty eight points tonight, relatively efficient, but how is the progress being able to to actually be executed? Yeah, like it was um, tonight wasn't great um, for us of where we have been. I feel um, we lost that sort of flow to what we're trying to get done, but. We spoke in the locker room, we scored 88 points. It's enough to win a game of basketball. It's all about defence, and defence is a choice. Chris, coming in. So, so I just wanted to ask you, it's a bit of an awkward one given he's sitting next to you, but what's it now like playing playing for a coach that's got the playing pedigree of someone like Sam? I mean, you've had a lot of different coaches over your playing career. What's it now like for you playing under, under Sam? Yeah, I mean, it's been great. Um, when I first came to Brisbane, Sammy was a big reason why I ended up coming up. He recruited me um, and got me up here as well. Um, so I, I, co I was coached under him as an assistant coach there for the first season and then it was gone. But um, I really enjoyed it back then and now he's back as the head coach. Um, I, I'm really enjoying it as well. And I think the group is really enjoying it too. Just um, like I said, just continuing to work together, believing in the process. And um, the rest will take care of itself. There's a lot of interesting things that have happened just by becoming coach, Sam. What's what, this experience tonight to coach against a team that have players that you've played with in the games like like you know Chris Golding and Mills and, and Dave Barlow? What was that experience like? I wanted to um, coat hanger bubbles running down the sideline, um, give him a little clip across the ears, a little fella. Um, no, but it's good, like, obviously, uh, in Brisbane when Bubbles was a, a young kid coming to training and then uh, Barlow played with him. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting any younger. Uh, but, yeah, you, like, you kind of know what they're going to do and you're trying to help the guys as much as you can out there. And, um, yeah, it was a, a weird feeling coming to Melbourne and coaching because that probably wasn't on the cards and having a different role. Um, but I'm enjoying the challenge. And after tonight's game, we've got some work-ons and... Uh, I know this group can figure it out. And just lastly, what are your thoughts on the Titans now on Wednesday night? And by the sounds of what you said earlier, you'll have a, at least one or two extra bodies. Yeah, look, they, they're a tough group to scout. Um, you, they're just up and down and they have a few little actions, but super athletes. Um, 40 um, has a meeting out of his, out of his palm. Um, so, yeah, uh, It'll be a tough one. We've got a big week them and then followed by Adelaide. So and then New Zealand. Doesn't get any easier as Sobe said and um, yeah, we're up for it and yeah, sort of this week, midweek game will be a tough one. Can I just you said before that you, you want the role for the rest of the season. <laughs> um, you sort of stepped away from coaching, obviously you've been in the front office role as did you always expect you were going to come back to coaching or is this something that's been stoked even more over the last couple of weeks? Um, I think you just, for me, just take what's in front of me and I think with getting the head coach, it's definitely stoked a fire in me. Um, really enjoying it. Uh, I like having honest, hard conversations with everyone from our SNC to questioning why we're having ankle injuries to players after a game like that. Um, and just getting buy-in from them. I can't do it all. I don't want to do it all, but I feel like my experience when the groups are collective, it's so much fun to figure it out. So I'm enjoying trying to lead this group out of it.